What's up, Brian Tong here with your Google Licious for everything Google that we can pack inside of a show. And you might be looking at a Samsung Galaxy S6 right now, but what about an S7? Well, according to a report from the Wall Street Journal, Samsung will be adding a pressure sensitive display similar to Apple's 3D Touch and a new high speed charging port to its flagship smartphone line with a launch in March. Now, they also say Samsung is considering adding a retina scanner to some versions of the phone, but that could change with about three months left to go. Now, it's also expected there will be a minimum of two versions, with one being the standard version S7 and the second being a curved screen version called, guess what, the Galaxy S7 Edge. There's been plenty of reports of the current S6 Edge spontaneously cracking, so they'll need to make sure they fix that issue. Also, Sam Mobile reports on rumors that there may be as many as four different models for the Galaxy S7. Mobile World Congress in February has typically been the time Samsung has made new smartphone announcements, so we expect the same thing this time around, and that matches up with an expected March release. Now, the rumor that we've heard the upcoming Galaxy S7 will have some type of pressure sensitive screen is true, but you can already interact with an app like Instagram for Android in a similar way to the iPhone's 3D Touch. In the latest update to the app, if you long press on a picture in Instagram, it will zoom in on it and moving your finger over one of the buttons under it lets you like it or share it. It's all done in the software and it's one of the best examples of an app to take advantage of this feature. All right, Google's project Sunroof is getting a little boost for consumers. It released earlier this year as a tool to let people see how much sunlight the roof gets. It factors in your house orientation, shade from nearby trees and buildings, and local weather patterns, and it creates a score to help decide if going solar makes sense. Now, the service has now expanded to cover more areas, including Arizona, New York, Nevada, Connecticut, Colorado, and North Carolina. California and Massachusetts were the original two. And there's still plenty of time to do a little bit of shopping for the holidays, but check out this sweet deal from the Google Store in the US. The Chromecast and Chromecast Audio have each been dropped down to $30 for the time being, but if you purchase one right now, you'll get a $20 Google Play Store credit. So that's basically like spending 10 bucks. And you can even be greedy and keep the $20 credit to yourself. Not that I would do anything like that. Now, if you buy both of them together, you'll also get the pair for $50. And if you're lucky, you might be able to grab a free Star Wars themed cardboard VR viewer directly from the Google store as well. The last time I checked, they were sold out and then they made more available and then they were sold out again. So keep checking if you really want to try out their cool Jakku Spire VR experience. It's really just one of the many mind numbing Star Wars tie ins before the movie this week that I expect all of you to go see before we post the spoilers, you know, on next week's show. All right, that's going to do it for this week. You can email us at googleicious at cnet.com or tweet me at Brian Tong. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you guys next time for some more of that Googleicious. Googleicious.